Turn up to this one, Worcester Bosch 30 SI. Customer keeps having to top the pressure up every couple of days. Previous engineer pumped up the expansion vessel, but didn't change the old PRV. That PRV has been here since the dawn of time, so we're going to get that replaced. There's so many different ways to change a PRV, but this is my preferred way. Going to get the case whipped off, the flap pushed down. Then I'm going to pop the diverter valve motor out first. Then I'm going to disconnect the domestic hot water flow sensor, turbine. Then I'm going to get my drain hose on and open it. The reason I have an isolated flow and return is because the boiler is the highest point in the property. So I'm not going to disturb any isolation valves if I don't need to. I'm going to unplug the pump. I disconnect this that holds a heat exchanger in just to give you that little bit more room. You don't always have to take it out. And now I'm going to isolate the cold. I use a spanner, not a screwdriver. Open the nearest hot tap to let the pressure off. 24 mil spanner to crack the cold nut open. Top tip with these siphons, tip them to one side and then go like that and it'll self siphon itself. So now you can remove the trap with hardly any water in, save getting it on the PCB. Now I'm going to disconnect the split pin. Use grips to disconnect this little clip. It's only quarter turn, so you grip it together and then quarter turn it open. Pull the pins out for the expansion vessel and the pressure gauge. Then you've got to wrestle with the pump fork to pull that out. Now I remove the cold pipe out of the way to give me a bit more room to take the pump manifold out. Just twist that return pipe out of the way. A few reasons why I change a PRV like this. I take the pump manifold out so I can wash the pump in the sink. You'll be amazed how much comes out of it when you wash it. Don't forget to pull this plastic connector down. Otherwise you're going to struggle to remove that PRV. So the first thing I do is use my crowbar and pull the pin out. And then this was quite difficult to do one handed, but you've kind of just got to tap the PRV out. Some of you won't mind taking a crowbar to a Worcester, I'm sure. The amount of times it may or may not have cut your hand. Nonetheless, I still love a Worcester. That PRV's popped out. Nice little bit of brass. They don't make them like that anymore. The condition of it looks like it went down with the Titanic. Get that thrown away. Here's a new plastic one ready to go in. There's the part number if you need it. Give that a screenshot for reference. There's a new one in, plenty of lube, helps it pop in. Put it all back together in reverse order. While the pump was out, I took the chance to change the flow adapter because we all know that was due to leak soon. So we got that replaced. Now I'm just carrying out 26 nines. So we got it in min, got it in max. Hot water's blaring away. Green light means go. Happy days.